Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial today, and this is going to be about um, floating curtains or some sort of physics over a window where the wind might be coming through and might cause curtains to, um, you know, sort of move about a little bit. Now, this is only going to be a very simplistic example, but here's my example of it working. So you can see that the We've got some interactive cloth, so they both move randomly, depending on what settings that we actually give them in turn. So to begin with, all we're going to need to do is we're going to need three things in particular. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a just a box or a cube, and this is going to act as our curtain rail or something which would hold the objects that would float. So we're just going to create a cube and make it small it doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as it's got an actual collider on it so this needs a box collider so we'll place this box collider on near to this wall here because it's better when your curtains are next to a, an object so they don't fall backwards and they actually cause some physics collisions with that so we're going to go to game object create other and then choose cloth now it's going to make a interactive cloth object we could just parent that to the cube we've got for now so this interactive cloth will just be made as a plane, so that will be pulled in. What I'm going to do is just I'm going to rotate my um, plane around to 90 degrees so it's straight on. And you can hold control to actually give that a smooth um, rotation. And what we're going to do is we're going to narrow this down to make it look like sort of the size of the curtain or whatever we want to make. You can follow my other cloth tutorial and I'll show you that you can replace the mesh here so you can add your own mesh later on. So what we can do is we can add the curtain just initially close to the actual um, curtain rail that we've got and what we can do then is on the attached colliders we can write size of one and what we can do is we can add the cube into there so that's going to be the attached collider and what we want is the stretching stiffness is that you can change that to around 0.7 you can use gravity because it's going to need to pull it down so it won't float up into the air we need to we can tick self collision so it'll collide with itself and do some things now the main things to take into account when doing this I showed you in a last video to use a wind zone now wind zone can affect this so what we need to do is we need to add random and external acceleration to make it do a certain amount of things so this is really dependent on um, what angle you want your um, cloth to move and how you want it to behave but for my example if I change the random acceleration to 5 and I press play you'll notice that it begins to move and then what we can do is change the external acceleration to maybe three and then we'll get some variation on what we want it to do and now we can really if if you leave your game playing and then what I like to do is just look back at the object we've got just click on the interface again and we'll see it playing and what we can do is we can investigate by you know just going around and seeing what some of these um, assets and things apply to our object that we've got so if we adjust the tear factor to maybe 0 0.1 and then the attachment response to 0 0.01 we just get a sort of more free flowing object in terms of how we want the curtain to look so as I've said we can move this when we press on play it'll take away everything that we've changed because we've only done that in game so we can just change it back to what we wanted you can obviously adjust these however you feel that you like to adjust it if we go back to the scene view we grab that interactive cloth and duplicate it this time and we'll put it at that side and then if we press play we'll get a similar look to both of the curtains or whatever we might be wanting to make and it just you know can simulate some wind coming through a particular window in your game or it can be used to simulate not just curtains clothes any sort of sort of fabricated item that you might have in your game so that's just a really simple way of adjusting the external 
and random acceleration and adjusting some points in there and it was fairly simple and all you need to make sure is that if you import your own custom mesh you can see here that Unity's plane for some reason is actually made up of lots and lots of different um, polygons and normally one plane is just made up of two triangles or one face whereas this is made up of an awful lot that's what you need to make the fabric that we want to act as if it is real we need to be able to bend in as many places as possible so when you're thinking about making your own mesh make sure you add a lot of or enough um, segments to your model to make it look realistic but it's something you need to try on so again thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers